afternoon, good noon to you all. <laughs> now, I did say I was going to go live at 12.11 and I'm three minutes late. Well, at least it's not two or three hours late like I was earlier in the week. <laughs> So slight improvement, only been three minutes, not three hours. So I'm getting better. The reason why I'm running late, I was just about to make my cup of tea and there's a ding dong on the doorbell. And the ding dong on the doorbell. And by the time, there's this figure scurrying away. I've left a care package. It's quite heavy actually. I've already spotted what's in what's in the top, so I know who it's from. <laughs> and my reckoning behind this care package. Okay. Just, just, just going to. Someone's just messaged me. Oh, brilliant! Just on my live now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I'm only three minutes late <laughs> go away Nicola I've just told you I'm on my live so she gives a thumbs up oh we live three minutes only late that's a drama this is a trot first Andy this is a trot first to being only three minutes late <laughs> so and <laughs> well I did really well because I went to bed uh, well, about midnight, and then I play Skadoo Doo until one because <laughs> I couldn't get to sleep. And then I woke up at about three o'clock. Didn't use um, I use sailor's language, <laughs> which I can't repeat here in case because Mikey Teddy's here, and I don't want to. Um... <laughs> And I woke up again about nine minutes past six. I need to look up the nine oh six oh it was six oh nine, so I need to look up that angel number today. But the angel book has fallen down the back. So <laughs> and I was wide awake. But I thought, SOD this, I ain't getting up at six oh nine. Because Andy doesn't normally text me until seven thirty. And Andy, if he texts me this morning, I went back to sleep and I missed it. Because Andy's my wake-up call. Because normally I don't set my alarm until nine o'clock. And his idea is, if I text Julie at 7.30, she won't get up. That gives her two more hours to spend on her business or on her meditation. Great thinking, Andy. He won't be getting Christmas card off me this year. Not that I send Christmas cards because I'm a pagan Wiccan witch. <laughs> <laughs> okay so I then came to at about five to nine and I thought right I'll do my morning grounding this happens every morning so I've got to what I've really got to do is get out of bed when I do this because I did my morning grounding protection <laughs> so the world is protected from this madness <laughs> and it was past ten and I've got a parcel to post, a Reiki Teddy parcel. Oops. And I run out of um packaging. So I do need to so after this I've got to go um and do some work. Yes, I do work, Anna King, if you're watching this, not because she's so embarrassed of her daughter. I do actually work with Reiki Teddy. You know, you should see them work. I've been sending today and uh and reading. <laughs> oh, I fit everything in. So then I was rushing and I had phone me I had messages and stuff. So I have actually been working. And then I suddenly thought, something's smelly. <laughs> and I thought, if I could go outside, I need. And while I was in the. <laughs> Ding dong! It's a good care package. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I don't have an Alexa or an Echo. Because with Alexa and Echo, you don't know who's listening in because they're constantly listening to you, waiting for you to say Alexa or Echo. So even though so they're constantly on. So if you suddenly start talking anti-politics or anti-religion or anti-racist things. Yeah. 
just think about that okay so <laughs> you don't know who's listening in <coughs> so excuse me sorry the mug of the day <laughs> My phone has an alarm and I just turn it off. Okay, my mug of the day is this amazing, awesome mug that Stacy, Henry's fiance, not girlfriend, soon to be daughter in law from heaven. <laughs> so I'm using my lovely this because I'm so in love with it. And I managed to get the stains out because I soaked it up. Someone gave me a, a, a tip. I soaked it in hot water and salt and uh, it cleaned it white. <laughs> So that's my mug of the day, in case Stephen comes on late, because he always comes on about 10 minutes later and goes, what's your mug? And I went, well, I've done it at the beginning. <laughs> and my snack, unless there's a snack in my thing. And you, are you will be surprised who is listening in. And if you don't believe me, all I can say is just wake up. So onwards and upwards. Today's today's snack is from my brother's snack. You remember when I opened up his care package? I'm using the toilet roll at the moment. Unfortunately, if anyone ever sends me any more. So, I'm going to request, please don't put any more baked beans. Please, no more baked beans. My IBS can control. I have a working disaster. Okay, so I've got these, unless there's something in Julie's package, because I haven't actually gone through it. But I do want to point out something. Right, you know, Jamie gave me, unless I don't like my birthday present, then I'll be hell. <laughs> you said you didn't want birthday presents, you just want money. I'm going to do a just giving fund when this is all out for my amazing um, Stacey girl, fiance, not girlfriend, daughter in law from hell. <laughs> no, I got that totally wrong. Stacey, fiance, not girlfriend, soon to be daughter in law from heaven, because I'm the mother in law from hell, and, and Henry. Due to this COVID virus, no money, and they've got a wedding to pay for. And they're asking, I know it sounds silly, they're asking for money for their wedding which I totally understand. So apart from the one gift that I've organised, I've given up on the other gift. I'll just give you a lump sum. It helped towards the wedding and the honeymoon. God, this honeymoon is going to be great because I'm going on it too. <laughs> now, as you know, my younger brother, Jamie Llewellyn, the musician, I did put a link to his page, I do want money for wedding. Yes, I'm going to do a just giving thing. You know, he gave me this book, Living Your Best Life. I haven't actually started it because I went through it. And like, there's no pictures in it. I mean, there's wisdom in action and action things to do. You know, feeling the subtleties, guilt, is it good? You know, that sort of pictures. <laughs> but I prefer picture books. OK. For instance, not the children's one, you know, Janet and John books. <laughs> I am a little bit advanced from that. I know I've got dyslexia. I like these like the power animal meditations because it's got pictures. It's got pictures. I'll do a fundraiser for you, Stacey, because I want you to have the best honeymoon and wedding ever. So it's got pictures. OK, what's that one of? That's a hippopotamus. Oh, hippopotamus means rebirth. Hippopotamus is the midwife in the cauldron. In Egypt, she is the goddess Tararet who attends each and every birth. So, Stacey, when you are going to produce my granddaughter after the wedding, maybe get conceived on the honeymoon. We will call in the hippopotamus when you're giving birth. There you go. Um, and it says, um, <laughs> so she's a fertility. So if you want to get pregnant, call on the hippopotamus. Oh, I've just learned something new. 
but you see it's got the picture so i know it's a hippopotamus and what else it goes on 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 What's it? oh the cobra i'm gonna do this this afternoon i love snakes the only reason why i don't have well this is why i don't have snakes the first one is the landlord won't let me have pets so that's a very slight technical hitch. And the second reason I snakes is <laughs> they can come in me in my room that night, Stacey. Um, and the other reason why I don't have don't work snake pet because I, I mean I do love snake and I've done amazing meditation. And Anna, my daughter, she can tell me because she was there with the snake meditation. It is the most amazing thing to do with a live snake. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Mad Julie, nee, 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 nee. Uh, the only trouble with snakes, you have to feed them <laughs> little chicks. And what you do, you buy frozen dead chicks and keep them in your deep freeze. And then you take them out and defrost them and then feed them to the snake. And I'm, for, I'm afraid I don't touch dead animals and especially dead birds. There's a story behind the reason why I've got that phobia. So that is the one reason, because I could never feed the snake. <laughs> oh, Stacey, right. Well, when you turn into the daughter-in-law from hell, not ever from heaven, I will get the snakes and stop you from coming. So there's co cobra. is awakening of energy. It's personification of a force and an intelligence. I need some intelligence. Oh, wow. Oh, this would be good. Do you know what? I might come on later and do a live and read the meditation to you. Now, that's a good idea. So there we are. I like that book. There's my dragon book. Not the one I've written. I'm still writing my dragon book. But again, this is, they're a bit dark, the pictures. But they've got pictures. Picture book, please, people. Not a book. So the ultimate guide to crystal grids. Now, if you come into my healing room, currently I've got four crystal grids up and running. The couch has got crystals lined up in the chakra areas. There's crystals on the reading table. But look, shows you how to do. Oh, I'll get the job. See, a specific grid, which helps me because then I don't have to read the. I don't have to read it. I can just, just follow the picture. OK see there's the picture of the grid so i don't need to read it the read the instructions i just follow the picture see sorts of book i like um the pendulum kit i love working my pendulum i mean when i go ghost hunting i use my pendulums but again this has got charts okay picture book not Janet and John. Here's another one. Oh, I love this one. Stephen Farmer. Oh, I tell you what. There are when you go on to meditation. <laughs> some voices you start listening. Is on. So asking if she wants a drink making. Tell her sorry. She has to wait because you're doing your most important job of the day. And that's being amused by Julie. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're going to make a gin and tonic. It's not six o'clock, so it can't be sherry, because that's at six o'clock. And it's not 5.30, so it can't be pit pear cider. It's tea in the mornings. Yes, Stephen Farmer. Go back to Stephen Farmer. He was married to uh, Doreen Virtue, um, but then they split up. But... <laughs> As I was saying, when you go and listen to some of these online meditations or on an on site down or wherever they are, some insight things, some voices, as soon as you start listening to it, it's like and breathe in and hold it or <laughs> some voices really, really weird, which will really irritate me. But this book comes with a CD in the back and he's rather sexy
<laughs> oh, go on. You can leave this running. You can still listen to me while you're making the tea in the background. Just throw a can of Coca. Then you don't have to make. Yeah, you know, here's a can of Coke. Sorry, drink that. <laughs> throw a glass of water. Here we are. Then you don't miss anything. But like I said, this has got pictures. Well, it should have. <laughs> there we are. It's all animals today. Look, see, it's got a picture of a dragonfly. And then it gives you what the dragonfly. Let's see what the dragonfly. Dragon's message for you. I dance and flit, born of the waters and always connected to them. Yet I am mature. I live in the air and on the land. I've managed to not only survive on this incredibly rich planet for millions of years, but do also bring beauty to it, even as I've enjoyed the beauty that surrounds me all the while. You are a master of light and colour. You're able to use these skills to create illusions. <laughs> I'm creating an illusion of happiness here. <laughs> While serving the truth behind the falsehoods of others. Paramount of nurturing these gifts is your relationship. <laughs> and if he's your power animal, you're emotionally intense and have a very passionate individual. <laughs> but you see, this is another one with pictures in, okay? What's this one? This is the frog. Can you imagine having the frog as your... <laughs> no, my look, I probably would. <laughs> see? And then, oh, I talked about Stuart Pierce, Pierce the other day, you know, when I was sitting... <laughs> In the med in a in a talk he was giving and I didn't realise who he was and then I suddenly shouted, Oh my god, you're the <laughs> And even this has got beautiful pictures in because he knew I needed to read it. So it's got absolutely beautiful photographs in. This one. I actually recommend this book. I can't find it. There's another beautiful book. The, Alan the Angels of Atlantis, 12 Mighty Forces to Transform Your Life Forever. I recommend this. This is Stuart Pearce. It's not often I recommend. And even, if you can see, one reads this. Right, these ba Bible books are brilliant. And this is the tarot. And again, it's full of pictures, which is great. I mean, I've got Judy Hall's Crystal Bible. I mean, I've got so many Bible books. Not the Bible. <laughs> Because I'm a pagan Wiccan white witch. But these are my Bibles. The Bible of the Tarot. The Bible of Paganism. <laughs> okay, so, as I said, my father gave me this book. No pictures. Useless. <laughs> I like books with pictures in. And spiritual books. <laughs> I don't read novels <laughs> and I, I, I haven't got the stamina to read the only books I used to read and I haven't read for a long time is the Barbara Carton and the Mills and Boons books oh can anyone remember the Mills and Boons do they still do Mills and Boons and then they do um, the Masquerade which is a little with, with Mills and Boons and Barbara Cartland and they go he takes her passionately into dot 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 next morning just I um on Facebook will watch from Paul who I was on holiday with in India. Did I mention I went to Goa in India early in the year? <laughs> and now I've got to be <laughs> completely distracted what I was saying. <laughs> oh, yes. Mas uh, you know, with, with Mills and Boons and, and Barbara Cartland, it would be the, the chapter would end. He takes her into her arms. And next morning they have breakfast. Right. But I believe the masquerade actually, so it goes from one thing to the other with Barbara Cartland. <laughs> but with masquerade, instead of going from one to the other, they actually fill it in. I don't do those ones. I just do the Mills and Boons and, and uh, Barbara Cartland. God, I haven't read a Barbara Cartland since I was about 1920. <laughs> well, 19, 1920. 
wasn't even born that when I was aged between 19 and 20, because my mum used to read them and then I wouldn't it curse. But yeah, Mills and Boons. Yeah, send me some Mills and Boons, people. Now that would be cool. <laughs> okay, so that's my complaint about books. Um so <laughs> my care package. Julie Murphy, I know it's from her. Now, Julie Murphy and Bra Murphy are my besties and they live right opposite. And my lounge, because, you know, <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah! <laughs> you didn't know I went to India, Stacey. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'd mentioned it at least 20 million times. Why not? Oh dear. So <clears throat> Julie and Brian, as you know, and Julie's mum and <laughs> we went to India earlier in the year. Most fabulous holiday ever. Absolutely ever. But as I said, I live on the first floor of a house flat and Julie's got opposite and my lounge window looks into her bedroom. Well, it used to look into her bedroom. She and Brian now sleep in the back room. I wonder why. And it's her dressing room in the front now so, so I'm dreading this package to see what she really thinks of me I don't even know whether I ought to open it Okay, here goes. Here goes. <laughs> Julie Murphy, I can't neither be your best friend anymore. I'll see if I can throw them and hit your front door and then you can throw them back and see if it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's a gardening. It. <sighs> yeah, have you seen my front garden? Oh, I can't possibly do it. It will ruin my nails. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. and, uh... So this is going to be really handy. I know what this is for because I put on so much weight. I need too much weight. Because well, all the food that they encourage me to eat, mind you, popcorn. <laughs> measure the width of my... Oh, yeah, I was talking about auras. I can measure the width of my aura. Hang on. Let's see how big my aura is today. <laughs> Hang on. 
just, 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 I'm just <laughs> gone very hot. <laughs> oh no, it's quite wide. Hang on. Oh wow, let's see. 33! A nice spiritual angel number. My aura is 33 inches. Yes! See, I'm so happy. It's to do with the meditation of a finger. excuse now <laughs> oh my god I've got to do my garden I now can see what else she's given me <laughs> I'm loving this this is brilliant this is really do you need to come and show me how to use this because I've got no idea is it a spoon to eat my tiramisu with? It's a big spoon. My profiterol eating spoon. <laughs> yeah, if you go up and down the road, everyone's front gardens are looking immaculate except 18A. <laughs> In token. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's just three little things left. <laughs> Nutmeg and vanilla. Oh. Oh. Something useful for my flat. Here, have a smell. Can you smell it? It's quite vanilla-y. Vanilla-y. It's a word. vanilla -ally. And you can get the touch of nutmeg. That's really nice, actually. That's... I see she's used it and didn't like it, so she's given it to me. And what's this? Oh, I've taken my glasses off. Oh, bath gel! You know what? <laughs> you are Scrooge. This is she's been to a hotel. This is, and you know when you go to hotels and they leave bath, bath you know, samples, shampoos and stuff. So she's been to a hotel, brought home the stuff, the samples, given it to me. Thanks, mate. Reject. But the best thing, she loves me. <laughs> she really loves me. Look at this beautiful little rose. Oh my God, that's brought tears to my eyes. I've no idea why there's a delay. It is life, trust me. It is life. Oh, this is a beautiful care package. At least this one didn't involve include toilet roll. This smells. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, my. oh I love this. Thank you, Julie. Yeah. <clears throat> um, have you seen what they're doing to the two, the two second house down from you? They're taking the front of the house off, making a hell of a lot of noise, making a hell of a lot of mess. Unfortunately, because it's a bit cool, they've actually got their tops on today. The other day they were half naked. Well gutted. Hello, Ollie. Hello. Ollie's one of my grandsons. And I just hope Logan isn't so grumpy. <laughs> I'm brilliant, Julie. I love it. So people are getting the idea. Care packages. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
Right, I'm going to do the gardening tomorrow, actually, because I, 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 am, I know, contrary to popular belief, I do have a business to run. Reiki Teddy kneeling hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got jobs to do this afternoon with the business. So I'll do the, uh, uh, the ironing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless him. Probably because he didn't sleep during the night because he... Logan was being a little SHIT last night and wouldn't go to sleep, and poor Stacey was so tired. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, and if you could see Ollie, he's such the most darling little four year old. He's lovely, sweet little boy. And Ollie uh, and Logan, my little tiny. <laughs> Beautiful. They, she, they, she gift, gifted me two beautiful grandchildren. I so need some care packages. <laughs> yeah, Andy, give her a package and make it live. <laughs> Andy, laugh. <laughs> Slurpity. Okay, so <clears throat> card of the day. <laughs> Mind you, we've done some spiritual animal reading today. This will be a cobra. A hippopotamus and a dragon. Call me Maxwell. Right, today's angel card for the collective. Gosh, that's quite strong. It's, it's stinking the room out. I'm going to have to burn some incense. <laughs> Shows my nose works, so I can't have the coronavirus. <laughs> okay, back to the Sorry, Andy. Yeah. They're great, these care packages. So people who are stuck in for 12 weeks and can't go out. Bless little Joey and my lungs and my IBS. <laughs> And Joey's been mad because I've been falling over all over the place. Burn some. <laughs> no, I'm never going to touch baked beans again. But I was just being a bloody pain because I keep standing up and falling over and. And I'm walking, and I actually fell into the um, bookcase and sent one of my fairies crashing. <laughs> Luckily, it's the wings are, are like metal wings, and, and you clip them on with um, uh, a magnet. And so I thought, oh, God, there goes the thing, as I fell into it, into the bookcase. Yeah, and I had not been drinking. This is Joey, okay. And, uh, and I thought, oh, no. And apart from one of the wings, metal wings falling getting slightly bent it survived the, the the pottery bit so i put it back in a place and uh yes <laughs> the wing is a bit bent. i need an r now i'm flattening it with the yarn <laughs> okay let's see the card for the collective today let's tune into everyone and see if this resonates with anyone God for the collective. Music. Music. Hey, let's play some music. I tell you what, last night, Stephen, who's not on at the moment. Oh, no. Ollie, you naughty boy. Don't wake Logan up because he'll wake up grumpy and cry. But he sent Ollie entertaining himself. Ollie. Ollie. It's Nana. Ollie. Oh, look who's the spiritual teacher now. Thanks, Andy. You know, excuse me. I'm <laughs> tuning and resonate. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, Stephen, who's not on at the moment, he texts me at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> me a little video. It was a group of uh, the Musettes or something. It was a group of four girls. And they would um, were playing ABBA songs. Really quite good, actually. But they converted the 
words into coronavirus and they covered about it was only three minutes long roughly but they covered about four or five hours it was really good music is the best therapy i mean i have music um, when i'm doing my therapy treatments you know as a new you know i do drumming she, hello ollie ollie it's nana mad nana mad nana here ollie hello darling oh i love you so much gifted me grand yeah sorry music is very important it can affect so many it can affect your emotions if you're down you can put something on to make you happy brings back memories like when i was i went to take that with anna last year Milton and Keynes. real and then i dragged her <laughs> i wanted to go and see johnny osmond he was playing in cardiff it was Donny So I thought, right, I'll buy two tickets. Because <laughs> at that time I was um, going in bug book. I wasn't living down in Cardiff at the time. <laughs> so I thought I'd better not go on my own. <laughs> and apparently Henry and Anna tossed a coin to see who was with me and Anna lost. <laughs> so she came to see Donny Osmond. Henry, you missed out a super concert. <laughs> they do that. They used to do toss a coin and whoever lost had to come along with me. <laughs> you know, who's coming to me for this weekend's fairy festival? We'll toss a coin. Oh, Anna, you lost. Tough. Actually, it's surprising when they toss the, the, the one for um, download. Hey, Henry's won download. <laughs> <laughs> music is very important and sometimes when you listen to some music it's the way the angels speak to you um and give you messages and so listen to some of the music the words um and if you look there's some beautiful music at the moment um someone did a post, really good one um uh i think it was um ground control to major tom and uh you know that one D david bowie's song this is ground control to major tom. and uh, and he changed it to ground control to Cop captain tom in in in, in of, of of the amazing captain tom who i think is turned out to be the the most inspirational character of 2020 bless him from my heart to his heart and we need to listen a lot to him um so and he's done it as well number one good on him Number one, so music is very important. Uh, it can help you relax. It can pick you up. Um, it can help bring. Uh, it can be healing. As I said, I use Bet and Bowl. Heard that on meditation on Wednesday. Um, drumming. I use drumming a lot. Very poor turnout in Eastfield Road last night. Murphy's. Very poor turnout. Murphy's at eight o'clock. But there was someone else new. Someone else new popped out last night at eight o'clock. So every night, every Thursday, yes. Like, like Andy and Zari, rock on. Okay. Some people just are hit and miss, but Ashes and Ashes. Yes, that's a good song. Yes. But yeah, Zari, the boys at Boy Zone. So Zari can't stand the Boy Zone at all. Andy, you know, drags her to concerts and things, you know. He's so cruel to her. <laughs> then he makes her go and meet people. She can't stand. No! If you give me two seconds, I'll show you my drum. Oh, my God. This is going to hurt the neighbours, but I don't give a frig. I've got two now. Right, this, this is the drumming I do. Okay, it's a Native American drum. Let's all get up and do the Native American Indian dancing. Come on then. Or shall we listen to the heartbeat of Mother Earth?
goodness knows what this sounds like. Oh, everyone was dropping away because Julie's completely lost. Yeah, that's the drum I mean. But I'd love to have a proper drum set, the big ones, you know, where you have. But I, 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 I can't coordinate. You know, you have a foot going on one thing and the other foot the other one. You've got one hand. And talking about sticks, you know, I can't use chopsticks. So how would I use drumsticks? <laughs> Can anyone remember Cozy Powell? Whatever happened to Cozy Powell? Now, he was a drummer. And then there was a Britain's Got Talent. And there was a young lad who did drumming there. I love drummers and drumming. Um, and uh, in Milton Keynes, they do a once a month drumming group. And of course, we can't do it at the moment. And that's superb. I'm going to that drumming group. So <laughs> I tell you what, Andy, get the get the drumming kit, and it might make move make upstairs neighbours move out. And you can get your own back and all the no noise sake. <laughs> now there's a thought, aid, eh, Andy. <laughs> I'll come up and I'll exercise exercise your upstairs flat neighbour and to move out <laughs> can you imagine that it'd be really funny if they move out next week that's 40 degrees andy <laughs> i'll come and visit you after this is over yeah i'm excited i'm coming to visit you tough whether you want me to or not <laughs> and i'll bring my drums I, and my rattles and we'll do some exorcism on people above you <laughs> and all around you so you just can catch lovely beautiful people to move into you into not into your flat but into your area <laughs> but i promise you i won't do it naked i will wear my clothes <laughs> i might get arrested if i sit there naked drumming well, I'm a pagan Wiccan white witch, not a Christian. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, I've been nearly 45 minutes. So no wonder people coming because it's lunchtime. Right. 28 days notice, though. Oh, we'll just annoy them for 28 days. And maybe they'll move out beforehand, you know, because they can't cope with the 20 days of me constantly drumming oh you want me to give you 28 days notice no me who suddenly gets up in the morning and at lunchtime decide i'm going to florida okay and less than and book it by two o'clock and less than 24 hours later we're on a plane to florida you know impulsive me you will not 28 days notice and also on the day i tell you I'm coming and i say i'm going to arrive at three o'clock in the afternoon six o'clock <laughs> <laughs> the only time I arrive really early, really, 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 I'm going to, on holiday abroad and I'm going to catch a plane. And I arrive about three hours beforehand because I'm so scared of missing my flight. So that's the only time. Oh, please don't let me relate for another century next year. Oh my God. That's going to freak me out. I'll be at the um, church about four hours and I'll be sitting through all the other weddings. Am I the right wedding yet? Am I the right wedding? <laughs> I don't want to miss wedding. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an escort that day and make sure the escort gets me there. In my... It's not funny. I'll be devastated. Oh, God. But I don't think I'll ever change. <laughs> Oh, this has been a lot. It's been four, nearly 45 minutes. So I'm going to say goodbye now. My tucker. Oh, did you see that? My, my um, Julie, Julie Lorraine Trot post. Yeah, Trot thing. Should I say three hours? Yes, please, Stacey. Then I'll get there on time. Escort for the wedding. So put me on the top table. I need two chairs now. I've forgotten what. I was... Oh, 
Joey, can someone please remind me what I was about to say? Because, sorry, it's just gone. Oh, just bear with me. Because um, I'm just about to... This is what happens with Joey. I do what I'm doing now. I complete blank. <sighs> oh, that's all right. I'll just there. <laughs> Can someone please remind me what I was saying? Because because um I've I've got such a. <laughs> you see, this is what I've got smug. It's got my name on, so at least I remember who I am. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's just gone. Totally gone. Totally gone. Yeah, as you can see, Joey told me to get back on track. Told me to get back on track. Unfortunately, I've lost my track. This is what happened to Joey. He's, I told you he's been a bloody Bayside. Yeah, now that's a good idea. That's a good idea, actually. Um, drumming with the neighbours. I remember. It's gone. It's gone. I need to get up. See, Joey is not the escort I want. Music tracks. I talked about a hell of a lot. No, I was just saying to go, actually, because I've done 45 minutes. And I was just going to say goodbye. And then something popped into my head. And then it's gone again. I probably remember, so I'll come live later and go, you know what? <laughs> it's to the smell from this beautiful rose, my best fate. Julian Brown gave me best love the care package. <laughs> That's a good idea, Stacey. Busy? I mean, we got a white dress on. And take two minutes to get your dress on. And don't ask me to do your makeup. Who could do your makeup? Auntie Amanda. She'd be very good. You know, Uncle Charlie. Amanda, not not um um my Amanda, not the King's Amanda. <laughs> you should probably but Amanda's very good. Get her to do your hair for you. <laughs> right, I need food. Um because I've only had one biscuit. I've got to get to the, the um um puppies to post this Reiki Teddy off. I've had business messages come through so um i am going to go now it's one o'clock in on nearly 50 minutes so well done those who stuck it down. oh so get me to run things around stacy you mustn't get stressed and stuff on your wedding it's going to be the perfect wedding it'd be fine it'd be fine You've got nothing to do with it <laughs> So I've got some business um, stuff coming through. So Anna King, who doesn't watch this because I'm wants me to get, get a five job. <laughs> so, so you have to say it's on the tenth, twenty twenty one. God, well done, Joey, and her birthday, and she's going to be yes, I've got it right. And then, um, but later on this month, 20 days time, someone is so old, so, so old. <laughs> Aren't they crazy? Can you imagine the live, if we do a live? I'm so empty, darling. Mother, soon to be mother-in-law from hell. <laughs> <laughs> and some people think, oh my God, my mother in law is awful. Imagine having me. Do you know I've never been a mother in law before? 
this is going to be a new experience. I mean, Stacey has introduced me to the wonderful world of being a nana with two amazing grandchildren who I adore so much and I miss so much. God, I've got to cry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, number, I mean, I don't even think I'm 58. Comes this. I think I'm 83. No, I'm still about 22. <laughs> Everyone's inviting themselves to your wedding. You will invite you to the. Invite all my mates. Oh. <laughs> oh God. It's impossible. I was going to get hello scene to come along sponsor your wedding now that will be a wedding and after we get that so i'm going to write to them <laughs> do you know maybe i could write to uh, moss bros and see if they could do a care package in this in in a in a size that fit henry and maybe to a bridal wear company and see if they could send some wedding dresses as they she would love. <laughs> you live in hope. It's been over 50 minutes. That's it. I was going to go and get some food because I haven't had any food today. And and and, uh, and I think I need to take some towels playing. No, but you're going to win the lottery. mother-in-law from hell is made of money isn't she it'll be sorted don't worry and we're going to win the lottery. i mean <laughs> so i'm going to go and have i've got to get to the post office um because because of this um then the, my post office um is three i think it's raining um so i need to go because it's the post sells the packaging so um so I need to need to go so because i've got loads of that's what i was saying about him and she thinks i need a nine to five job never again because i'm determined to get healing hands and raising working because i my, my stress and anxiety and joey couldn't cope with working i do too much of a routine you know <laughs> so i'm gonna love you all go and have your lunch every and i'll catch you all tomorrow and thank you very much for joining me take care love you all and don't forget to work for area my, my heart to your heart thank you very much and i love you so much bye it's not ending oh there we are <laughs>